so much for your patience. So good evening, everyone. Um, I am Yen Teng, okay, or you can call me YD for short. Okay, I'm a, a clinical executive with Silver Ribbon Singapore, and I will be your moderator for tonight. So first of all, thank you all so much for taking the time to join us this evening to learn from a very, very special guest today who specializes in laughter therapy. But before we begin, I would like to once again direct everyone's attention to the chat box where Ryan, our technical support, have actually posted some ground rules for all of us to kind of observe in order to enjoy a smooth and run smooth sailing and enjoyable event. So we seek your kind cooperation for that. So before we begin, maybe allow me to share a little with all of you about who we are. Okay, so we are Silver Ribbon Singapore. We were launched on the 4th of February 2006 by our late president, S.R. Nathan. Our mission is to promote positivity towards mental health issues and to combat mental health stigma through raising awareness as well as education. Okay, aside from providing complimentary online emotional support, we often hold events related to mental health to reach out to the public, much like this one that you all are currently attending. Okay, so now without further ado, let me introduce our guest speaker for today, Ms. Suchi. She is an experienced international preschool principal who enjoys being a life coach and motivator at present. She conducts laughter therapy, conferences, summits, offices, and hospitals, and many, many more places. She also provides individual and group laughter therapy sessions in those different settings. Now I will hand over to Ms. Suchi who will share with us more about what she does. So Ms. Suchi, please. Hi, YD. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this session. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Miss Suchi. I am the only female laughter coach in the whole world who conducts 100 sets of laughter exercises. With each exercise, there will be a nice, positive, motivational message for us to take home and practice and apply. A former principal who enjoyed managing international police schools for many years, and a life coach and motivational speaker, uh, speaker at the moment. I'm also enjoying my role as empowerment coach, country chair for Global Goodwill Ambassadors. It's a team of 16,500 volunteers around the world. Uh, so I'm a real life volunteer. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm just gonna go through uh, step by step with you, like what can be done uh, during this phase of uh, when it comes to COVID-19 spread, what, can, what kind of things we should do in order for us to take the dosage of happy hormones and manage our stress hormones. Okay, so let's go to slide one. Yes, that's me, Ms. Tsumchi, the empowerment coach, uh, GGA, Vice President for Southeast Asia. Yeah, that's a, a team of uh, around 17,000 volunteers now. Let's go to the next one. So boost your happy hormones. That's the topic for today. Now, before we move into what kind of happy hormones we should get and how do we manage different types of stress hormones so that our blood, blood pressure doesn't go high, our sugar levels don't, don't shoot up. In order to know that, we move to the next slide. So that's the topic for today, boost your happy hormones. What is stress? So in order for us to manage our stress, it's important to know what stress is. So stress is primarily a physical response. So all of us should take this very, very uh, seriously and take note of this, that stress is built. The way we are built, it's built in us to take care of ourselves. Like in, in, like we are driving a car, someone comes from front. How are we going to save ourselves and save that person? So stress is all about, it's like a protective gear. So you need not worry so much about feeling stressful. But if you continue to worry so much and think a, a lot, like you practice overthinking, then your brain will continue to release norepinephrine, uh, cortisol, and adrenaline in order to save yourself, in order to protect yourself. And then you would have this urge to okay, I need to take action, I need to do something, I need to do something. And that's why your blood pressure will go high, your sugar level will go high. So stress is primarily a physical response. This thought is, even this fact, is not a thought, it's a fact, it's very empowering that, all right, so God has built me this way so that if something happens to me, I must take action. So do I have to worry about feeling stressful? You don't need to because it's, our protective mechanism, it's built in us for us to save ourselves. So stress is 
primarily a physical response. When we see ourselves having some, like somebody attacking us, something going to happen to us, our brain will start to release those mixture of neurochemicals in order for us to take actions. So please don't worry about being stressful because now you know that stress is primarily a physical response, which we can manage by learning how to manage stress using healthier ways. Okay, so next slide, please. How do people manage stress? People usually manage stress three ways. It's called fight. So they, they keep a lot of stuff to themselves. They don't share. And when it all bottles up, they are like a walking volcano. They shout, scream, and throw things at each other. Now, this is not good for our personal relationships. It spoils our personal relationships and our professional image as well. So we don't want to fight with anybody. I'm someone who spread peace, so we don't want to fight. So fight is a no-no. We don't want to do that. Now, some people, they avoid each other. Like, okay, you're causing me stress. I go away from you. My wife is causing me stress. I go home a little bit late. Okay, my husband is coming home. He causes me stress. So I, I keep busy with being on the phone with my friend. So that's not going to help us on the long term because you can't avoid somebody. You don't want to face somebody for short time, but you cannot do it on a long time. If you think that your bosses, your boss, your colleagues, and your friends, and your family members, they are the ones who are causing you stress. So flight means you're just trying to avoid people because you think that person is causing me stress. That does not work on a long term as well. Fight, we don't want to do that. Flight, we don't want to ignore people. We don't want to go away from people. We want to know how to work with people and our stress level as well. So number three is freeze. When someone is in under immense stress, so the stress levels are too high, and most of the oxygen and blood circulation goes to the hands and legs because you always have those, those people would have this urge to I want to take action. I, I must take action. So the brain would not receive enough oxygen and blood supply. So the brain loses the ability to think straight. Now, these kind of people you would hear saying that, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do means their brain is not receiving enough oxygen and blood supply. So they lose the ability to think straight. Now, we don't want to live life where we don't know what to do. We want to be very clear about what our life purpose is, what do we want to do in life. So we want to make sure that our brain is receiving enough oxygen and enough blood supply. We don't want to have this urge of always, oh, look, something's going to happen. Oh, I must take action. So the blood supply and ox an oxygen would go to hands and legs. So we don't want to be in that situation, in that condition for a very long time because it's detrimental to, it becomes detrimental to our health. So fight is a no-no. Flight, like you just go away. I want to avoid this person, avoid that person because I think she's causing me stress. He's causing me stress. We don't want to do that. And we also don't want to lose the ability to think straight. So we don't want our brain to be frozen, like freeze condition where you don't know what to do, right? So that's where it becomes very important for us to learn how to manage stress using healthier ways. So next slide. So as I mentioned, we don't want, yeah. So what are the healthier ways to manage stress? There are many ways where you can use, you can use to manage stress. But first of all, you need to know what is causing you stress because there are people walking on this earth not knowing that they are stressful. They only uh, realize it much later where it, it has already caused a lot of damage to their, about their health, overall health, like their mental health, their physical health. So it, it's really important to know you are stressful. So healthy, in order to learn how to manage stress using healthier ways, one must understand what's going on with his body, his mind. So make sure that you are calm, you're composed, you take good care of your mental health, you take good care of your uh, routines, lifestyle, where you take time out for yourself. So talking to your friends and family members really work because you don't want to keep so much to yourself that you have a lot going on. So sharing works if provided that those people you're talking to are also able to manage stress because if wife is stressful husband is stressful children are stressful they're just shouting at each other and like it becomes very chaotic then so it's important for all of us to learn how to manage stress so if you feel stressful you can actually talk to your family members and friends 
tell them about your stress levels and what's going on in your life. Okay? So talking to your friends and family members is possible only if everybody has learned how to manage stress. Number two is reflective journaling. It's, it's really important to know when was the last time I was stressful? It was like last week. So what made me feel stressful? Oh, it was my cell phone bill. So what can I do in order to not to have that bill, you know, like receiving the bill, which is very high. Okay, I need to do this. So it, it's really important to have practice reflective journaling in which you write down like that, that this what makes me feel stressful and what did i do then oh i joined this aerobic classes i joined laughter therapy i joined some online courses where i learned how to do cooking and i cooked a dish together with my family i did gardening oh look gardening makes me feel very relaxed then i did online course for a class for my violin practice where i practice violin together or i went to church or wherever whatever makes you feel very relaxed you need to make sure that you need to know that this causes me stress and this is what makes me feel stressed. Because if dancing is relaxing for one person, it might be very stressful for the other person because all of us are not same. The way we are designed, we're not same in so many ways. So we need to understand ourselves, understand that this is what suits me and then you need to practice that accordingly. Look, all right, so when I feel stressful, I feel very, I take good care of myself and I make sure that I drink enough water. I am exercising. When I exercise, I feel good. So we're living in a country where we are allowed to exercise. We can go out during this epidemic uh, pandemic and this COVID-19 uh, spread. We can still be able to go out and exercise. If you don't want to go out, you can still move furniture and then just create some space for you and your family members to exercise together. Now, there are so many videos going on where family members are walking exercising together so you need to also make sure that you are not exposing yourself to negative media and you are not forwarding negative news to each other because uh, words carry energy words carry power whatever you see whatever you hear and whatever someone says to you you say to somebody it affects our brain chemistry and body chemistry so you need to make sure that you are surrounded by people who are using positive language or reading nice things so that it, it has a positive impact on your overall health. So exercise, as I mentioned, and uh, make sure that you, no matter how busy you are, even when, the, when we start to go back to work, you need to make sure you take time out to exercise for half an hour. Be it as a group exercise, like if all the colleagues, colleagues do together, or you come back and do it with your family, like a walk. I come back from work and I go for, I go to go for a walk with my family members, something like that. So you need to develop those habits where you take time out at least 30 minutes. If you cannot do it, 45 minutes at least 30 minutes for your brain to release happy hormones then dark chocolate really works so uh, i'm not talking about sugar loaded chocolate so if you're feeling very very stressful about some issue which you need to address and solve if you just take a small piece of dark chocolate which has like 90 to 95 percent cocoa powder and you just put it on your tongue and you close your eyes and you let it melt that would also help you to feel relaxed uh, sleep vanilla vanilla flavored uh, there's so many items which contains vanilla flavor so you can or even uh, the essence itself so vanilla sniffing it would make you feel calmer and burn lavender candles so lavender flavored candles when you burn it and you just close your eyes and just just know that oh look uh, i know how like this is stress is because i am thinking and perceiving something as is going to attack me everything is okay i can manage i can do this so when you work on yourself you burn a lavender candle you're going to feel less anxious and slowly you would feel calmer then the practice relaxation exercise there are lots of uh, various types of relaxation music available on youtube i can share one with uh, silver silver uh, ribbon singapore team and they can share with all of you so uh, it's possible to play that like soothing piano music with water sound and you close your eyes and just, just take time to, to observe your thoughts. Like, okay, one thought is coming, leaving, another thought, like thought is, thoughts are just thoughts. It, it doesn't really harm me if I don't involve myself, my emotions and my feelings to those thoughts. Thoughts are not harmful, okay? One thought, another thought, all right, I'm fine. These are my thoughts. I have taken note of it. If there's something which needs my attention. Okay, this is the area. Then I plan myself well. 
I attend to it and I solve it. So sometimes when you have so many thoughts going on in your mind, it's good to write them down and you, you, you attend to it because there is a message for you to do something. And if you're not doing it, it would come back again and again. There's something on your subconscious mind which is bothering you. So you make sure that you don't brush it under the carpet. You attend to it and then you solve it. You resolve it. Plan yourself accordingly. Right? Plan your time. So make sure that you practice relax, relax, relaxation by playing some nice, sweet piano music. Is what is done. You can do it at the beginning of the day. Or you can do it at the end of the day. So your mind is calm. Pick up a new skill like uh, cooking or gardening or learning a new language or even uh, aerobics or kind of tai chi. You know, so you pick. If you cannot go out physically now, everything can be done virtually. Like I'm, I'm kind of doing a lot of coaching virtually, so it can be done this way as well. Like everybody's home and they're doing things together, it can be done. So you make sure that you pick exercises together so that you are. Looking forward to it, you are getting up from the bed and doing it else. We tend to lay around in bed for longer because like, we don't need to go to work physically, so we can just sleep till late. I don't need to brush my teeth, I didn't do my hair. I don't do that. Let's really, really get up, brush your teeth, get ready, and exercise with other people. So do take up some new courses which are which are online. Yeah. But last but not the least is laughter. So I hear a lot that people say that, okay, look, I have a smiling face. I, I watch some comedy and I laugh, but that when you laugh using your facial only face, like <laughs> then you might just get upset after that. Oh, I told you not to do. Why did you do that? So it doesn't really work that way. When in, in order for us to understand how our brain works, how it releases happy hormones, we need to remember that we must practice belly laughter. That's your belly. And when you breathe in from your nose and breathe out from your mouth, say, ha, ha. So any kind of negativity, any thoughts which are bothering you, you can do ha, and you take it out. So when you practice doing that and you practice various types of exercises using your belly, your brain will start to release happy hormones. But when you receive your happy hormones, there's a link between happy hormones and stress hormones. So your stress hormones level will go lower and you continue boosting your happy hormones by so many ways. There are so many ways you can use your happy, get your happy hormones. So now we understand, oh, look, my brain would release happy hormones if I do that. So gradually we are moving into that area as well. So there are, you must know that there are many healthier ways to manage stress. So smoking, drinking, uh, try not to do it because it's not it's not good for your health. Okay, so the he use healthier ways to manage stress. Okay, because smoking, drinking would only or even taking uh, good for some time, but it's not going to help help you on a long term. It also creates a lot of other issues. Right? Okay, let's move to the next slide. So what are happy hormones? Happy hormones are dopamine serotonin and endorphins how do we get it there are so many ways that mentions like even right now we cannot hug our family members and friends but even if you after the, those bands are uplifted after second break or measures are like uh, if things back to normal even you hug your your pet animal or your family member if you breathe in breathe out for three seconds you breathe in from your nose breathe out from your mouth and just continue hugging but hugging would give you happy hormones so hugging your friends and family members then um eating banana helps for some people when they eat banana their brain starts to release uh, happy hormones sleeping well is very important so sleeping well is a huge topic maybe one of the days we can do that just talk about that so make sure that you are sleeping peacefully so you can you are, you are angry with somebody before you go to bed you Forgive that person so that your next day is not ruined and you don't worry so much about what had happened. Uh, so it's really important to uh, continue to work on getting the dosage of happy hormones by making some slight changes in our routines and our lifestyles by not taking things very seriously because no one takes it seriously by the way. You know, like on, on this planet, every moment, that every second there are babies are being born and people are dropping their physical bodies and leaving and we continue thinking about Okay, this person thinks that about me i'm not like that like, so you need not worry so much take good care of yourself relax as much as you can because your body mind soul is 
in alignment, relax, you would be able to take better decisions and you would not be anxious. Right? So happy hormones are serotonin, dopamine, and endorphins. You can get it by making some slight changes. I mentioned that you, you get up in the morning, then you practice gratitude. So instead of jumping from the bed and start to shout at family members or run towards, like, I need to get it, I need to get that, you need to just sit up straight and tall and keep your body like good. neck straight and just, just take a moment to say, be grateful. I had written a book, it's called Code to Happiness, and I have written 600 journals where I have mentioned why am I grateful for, what am I grateful for. I did not repeat the reason. So when your mind is always being focused at what's missing in your life, you're, you start to develop negativity. So you need to then train your mind that I only want to think what I want to think. So you need to take control of your thoughts, see thoughts as thoughts. And like, okay, what I want to in life, I want to make sure I train my brain. So get up in the morning and practice gratitude. Say, thank you, God, for allowing me to see this beautiful day. Because we don't know whether we will see tomorrow or not. It's not a threat. It's not negative. This is the reality of life. So don't leave the life that way that we are going to be here permanently. Right? We are not going to be here permanently. So make sure that each and every day you take it as a blessing. Thank you, God, for letting me see this day. And set an intention like, Today I want to, like I said, today I want to reach out to like 50 to 100 people using social media with thousand people. I want to spread this positivity and this happens, right? So make sure that you set an intention and you have a grateful heart so that you are not always thinking about what's missing in your life. So That's also one of the ways to get happy hormones. And last but not least is uh, laughter therapy, okay? so which we're going to, we cannot do the whole therapy uh, now here, but we can practice some exercise in next slide. Stress hormones. Stress hormones are norepinephrine, adrenaline, and cortisol. So when our brain releases these hormones, it's actually for us to take action, for us to save ourselves. I, I spoke about it earlier in the first slide. So stress hormones are just being released because we need to take action. So when people feel anxious, it's because they are getting a lot of stress hormones. The brain is releasing stress hormones. Now you know that, oh, when my brain will start to release norepinephrine, adrenaline, cortisol, that means that's where I feel like, hey, something is wrong. I must, I must take action. I must take. So then you need to like practice relaxation by eating a piece of dark chocolate, burning lavender flavored candle, sniffing vanilla, and just relaxing as much as you can. Practice gratitude. Then you, everything will be in order. Everything in order. Then you can move on to take the next step, right? So you, if you are chaotic, you are feeling very anxious. That's not the way you will be able to take better decisions in life, right? Okay. All right. So that's what our stress hormones. I cover that. What's next? So what is laughter therapy? So I'm someone who has picked up some exercises locally from a local coach, and I was just not happy with just learning. Oh wow! So I studied brain development. I I studied a lot about how various scientists have done experiments. I had done some experiments to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. This is how it is, right? And I became very passionate about it because I started to practice at workers' dormitories and community clubs and hospitals. And nurses who were very stressful after practicing it, they feel, Mr. Chi, we feel very peaceful, very calm. We feel very nice. After this. Okay, hey, it's working, it's working, right? So what is laughter therapy? It's, it's clapping. So we're going to do it together in a while, clapping. Simple stretching. It's not difficult kind of stretching where even wheelchair-bound people, because I visit elderly homes and senior activity centers, so even those who are wheelchair-bound, you don't need to feel bad, like, hey, look, I cannot practice. And you can still do it because when I do clapping exercises, I play some nice uh, funky music and I get everyone to clap together. So even those are who, who are wheelchair-bound, they can also do it. So for that, we need a music piece for them to practice clapping, right? So simple stretching, first introduction of laughter therapy, simple stretching, clapping, then saying positive affirmations aloud. Like instead of saying like, oh, look how bad we are, we're sitting at home, we cannot go out. So instead of saying all the negative things, like I am so blessed to be able to spend time with my family members. Look, I have, I'm picking up online courses. I'm able to do things which I couldn't do in the past. I, I am have, I'm safe. I'm living in a country where 
our government, our leaders taking good care of ourselves. Look, we have enough groceries on the supermarket shelves. We don't need to stop to hoard and buy a lot of stuff. And oh, we have enough toilet paper. Right? So you need to continue to practice training your brain to think positively. So that's the way. So saying positive uh, affirmations means you are changing your brain chemistry by saying things like, I'm happy, I'm awesome. I am power. So when you say that, you actually change it instead of saying, mm, oh, so very, oh, so. So when you do that, you're, you're changing your physiology. So I had done a very simple experiment where, just want to share quickly, we have enough time, yeah, a quick one. So where I cut apples, one apple into two two parts and the small, small slices, like one apple into two parts, and then I kept in two bowls. So I kept it in my drawing room and I spoke to one bowl of apples. I took it in one room and spoke very harsh ways. Like I cannot even say negative words because I'm someone who don't, I don't swear, swear, I don't curse anybody. I don't use negative language because I worked on myself. So I just, for that experiment, I said, like, wow, Betty, wow, look at you. This, you look so ugly and you don't, you have no brain. So I just spoke to those apples like, this is a very negative way and I brought them back to the same place where I kept them so the environment was same you cannot say like oh because the temperature was different oh because this and then I took the other bowl and I, I, in one room and I spoke very lovingly like, oh look at you so fresh I love you look at you so juicy so I spoke to those apple classes very lovingly so scientists have uh, have done a lot of experiments and I had done that work. It's been proven, it's proven scientifically that words carry energy, words carry power. So whatever we say to our loved ones, not even that, whatever we say to ourselves, like I'm dumb, I have no brains, I'm slow, I'm not good at this. So from today, what you can do is you can be a little bit more careful about the words you say to yourself because you know that it was the part of the same apple but because I said negative words to the bowl, that bowl, those apple slices developed fungus on the third day, like blue, green, black, and the other slices were still looking good. So words would have an impact on our body because our body is made of tissues and there are little cells inside and it contains water. So it changes according to the words. So the, the apple slices, which turned ugly, not bad as in the fungus because of the negative words, it, negative words changed the water crystals in those apple slices. So you can read more about it online. Like, yes, it's proven uh, that we need to be very careful about what we say, not only to the others, but about ourselves. We cannot take control of others' mouth, like what they say about us. Or we can also, we can always take control of how we feel about yourself. So emotional mastery is another chapter, which I'm a coach of, uh, uh, empowerment coach, which I guide people with emotional, emotional mastery. That's another huge topic. But here I'm sharing that it's really, really important to know that I can take full control of how I feel. So positive affirmation when we say that I'm happy, I'm awesome, I'm power, I am I am, I am this, I am that. When you say that, you're actually changing your body chemistry and your uh, brain chemistry. So laughter therapy, we have all these things already catered and designed for various age groups. And last but not the least, we have after the ex different types of exercises, we get the participants to listen to nice piano music and water sounds that they can then practice progressive muscle relaxation, relax your toes, breathe in, so this, and then this really works because everybody feels very calm and so. That's laughter therapy. Okay, what's next? What is the next slide? That's laughter therapy. So now you have the power to get the dosage of happy hormones to live a happy and successful life. And we, we spoke a lot about what are stress hormones. Now you know that I don't need to worry if I feel anxious. Like I know what to do now. I can take care of my happy hormones. I get a lot of happy hormones so that my stress hormones are going to go lower. I continue boosting my happy hormones and I continue lowering down my stress hormones so that I take full control of how I feel, how my day is going to be, right? So it's not like it's not in someone else's control, but I take full control of it. Right? So now you have the power to get the dosage of happy hormones so that you make sure that you live a very happy and successful life. When you are happy, happiness is energy, money is energy, success is energy, it's all linked. 
So don't be so sad, low. Don't feel, don't feel bad about yourself. Don't feel bad about the situation because it's going to change. Yeah, things change every single day. So make sure that you are uh, thinking, have positive thoughts, thinking positively, taking good control of your thoughts, and take, making those slight changes in your routines and lifestyles to get the dosage of happy hormones. And then we're going to practice some laughter exercises together. Okay. So when we clap, we actually activate a lot of points in our hands. So there are a lot of acupressure pressure points when we clap. Like so when we we do a clapping for a long time, let's say the reading laughter therapy, then you need to apply a little oil. Okay? Right now, we're just going to do a little bit, so it's quite okay. Yeah? So the next slide is... Oh, the context. So you just, if you just Google Miss Suchi, you will find all about my work. Okay? So do connect with me on various social media platforms. I'm sharing a lot of information. So if you have any doubt, you can always comment and I'll get back to you. Thank you. And on my YouTube, you'll find a lot of videos on how to control anger, how to sleep over, sleep well, how to take, uh, how to curb overthinking. I had done that all already. Thank you. All right. So last but not the least, I'm very grateful to Silver Ribbon Singapore team for inviting me. Thank you so much. And now we are gonna be moving to the next section, which is gonna be practicing different laughter exercises together. And yes. So thank you for sharing and I'm sure our audience have learned a lot about what laughter therapy is all about yeah. and of course how to inject that dose of you know positivity in our lives you know through positive affirmation. So now like we always say you know practice makes perfect so can we all invite you know invite Miss Suchi to lead us in some laughter exercises. Yeah. So for this segment we will be unmuting everyone yeah. and as well as I would like to invite everyone to turn on our webcam so that we can actually see each other and try out yeah. these exercises together. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely encourage all of us to join in this together because you know together we can, yeah, have some you know, some fun together. Exercise. Yeah. You can unmute your mic, you can unmute your video, so I can do and we practice exercises together. Yeah. I see Mr. Kamro, you from yeah. you from Pakistan, yeah. Hi. Hi. Bangladesh. Bangladesh, oh, hi. Thank you. Yeah. So we will hand the time over to Miss Suchi to, to lead us in yeah. the exercise. Yeah. So is there anyone who want to unmute the video? No? Okay, fine. Go fine. All right. So everybody, these are your hands. We need to put everything down. We don't want to carry anything right now because we want to activate our point body. Okay, like this. All right. So when we clap, we clap sideways. We're also going to do hop, hop. <laughs> When you do that, you're actually exhaling and then you just go and relax. So, this way, one, two, and see, even Mr. Carmel and PD join me. Mr. White, to hi, let's do together. Jolene, okay, ready? One, two, and three, go. I'll show you once and you do together. So, it's like this go, 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 Hey, all right, so let's do it together. Let's do it together now. One, two, and three. Ho, go. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. And just say, yeah. Do a stretch, okay? Yeah. Guys, when you do this, yeah, it's the relaxation feeling. It's the feeling yeah. of letting go. Letting go. Yay. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Means letting go of anything which is not working for you, any negative thoughts, anything, any anxiety, let go. Don't carry it. Okay, yeah. All right, do one more time. This time we'll do up and down. Okay, so we stretch a little bit more. Okay, one, two, and we go. Say ho, don't just clap. Yeah, go. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. 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 Very good, very good, yeah. Very good, very good, yeah. You must say it. Very good, very good, yeah. Very good, very good, yeah. I'm happy, I'm happy, yeah. I'm happy, I'm happy, yeah. I'm happy, I'm happy, yeah. Yeah, very good, very good, yeah. 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 Very good, very Take the power. We just started, right? This is like we warm up. So let's take the power. Can you flex one muscle for me like that? 
Everybody do this together. Say, I am power. I am power. Say power. I am power. power. I am power. 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 Yeah. 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 Celebrate being alive. Celebrate yourself, right? You have been working so hard for your family members, your friends. So you celebrate. Okay? Yeah. All right. So this does a very simple exercise. You can change your body energy. You're already feeling better when you sit like this. You worry so much, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you change, change. Use the positive words to change your body energy. Okay? So we're practicing very. First exercise, last exercise. When you practice with me, you need to make sure you make eye contact. If you see, I'm looking at your eyes. Make sure you make an eye contact with me. You do clapping like this, and you practice belly laughter. So you laugh from your belly. So you tell it, ha, ha. It has to be from your belly. It cannot be like, <laughs> don't do that, okay? From your belly, yeah. right? So the very first exercise, we're gonna. Just pretend to shake hands. We cannot shake hands, right? Because it's very right So just pretend to shake hands. So everybody, stretch your arm at me like this, and and do this. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. 
Some time, you, you want to maybe go through one more? One more, okay. We yeah, do just one more. Prata. We still have a bit more time, yeah. Okay, roti parata laughter. Everybody, just give me your two hands like that. So you make the dough first, make the dough like this. A. Please make the sound. A. A. for participating in our laughter so exercise much. and thank you Miss Suchi for leading us. I hope everybody had fun and you know I can see a lot of smiling faces on the <laughs> webcams. So thank you so much. So you know Miss Suchi, you know, thank you so much for spreading so much positivity to all of us. So I would like to actually get to know you a bit better. So I just wanted, you know, just curious right, how have you been actually coping during this circuit breaker period? Because I understand a lot of people are feeling quite anxious about the situation but you know you still seem so positive. So how do you do it? I think it's very important for us to know that the temp we are living here temporarily. Like we continue to think so much about future. We don't even know what's going to happen, right? So I don't live in the past. Like whatever had happened in the past, I have learned from it. That those I see as, as an experience. I do not worry so much about future. Like what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Because things change every single day. Like things around us change, right? So we, I don't worry about future. I have learned how to live in this moment. Like this very moment, I'm 100% here. I'm not thinking about what has happened this morning, what's going to happen after this session. I'm 100% here. So we need to train ourselves to be here in this moment, 100%, so that we can enjoy this. Else people tend to miss out on life's simple pleasures and happiness because they are either living in the past, they are brutally over, they are like complaining about what had happened or they are also having grudges about people who did not treat them well. They're thinking about future, a lot of anxiety is there. What's going to happen? What's gonna... So you need to relax and train yourself in such a manner that you live in this very moment fully, like 100%. 
so that it gives you energy to like to 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 face challenges and i'm someone who thinks positively i'm a, i'm a coach so i cannot be like uh, cannot be not being a role model like i'm a role model for so many people out there so right now i have 31000 followers so i need to make sure that i am taking care of myself really well so that i can spread this positivity around me so i make sure that i practice gratitude i mentioned i take good care of my exercise time exercise and i take it as it comes like i do have some strategic planning but i'm not so much into future like i'm not living in the future i'm not living in the past i'm living right now at this i'm not saying even this evening i'm saying right now this moment 100% feeling grateful about like i could see all these beautiful faces i could laugh with them and i'm being invited to speak so i just feel very grateful so that's the way you can continue to boost your energy Yeah. I see. Thank you so much Miss Suchi and I think what you mentioned is quite closely linked to like mindfulness you know being 100% present in the current moment and you know accepting things as they come. So I think so thank you so much for for your very positive sharing. So I mean you know we're coming to the end of the session. So if there is one take home message that you would like everyone here present here to remember what will it be? Oh wow. Uh, there are many but i would just say uh, for one message it's very important one do not postpone your happiness we tend to say that i will be happy when like my son gets married or my daughter gives birth or my uh, we settle down or we move to a new uh, we condominium or i'll be happy when my husband buys me a diamond ring i'll be happy when this happens and that happens i'll be happy when i go back to work but we need to make sure that we are not postponing it for something which is not even we don't know whether we will get it or not of course you have to be positive but we need to be happy at this moment right now today so that we can continue to work towards future in a very positive manner so please don't postpone your happiness for like i will be happy when this happens that happens so you need to take control of your happiness by having the keys in your hands also don't give the happiness keys to someone else like if this person treats me well then i'll be happy so now your happiness keys up in that person's hands you need to make sure that you take full control of your happiness that does not mean people will not treat you badly they there are all kinds of people in this world people will treat you badly there are some unkind people but then you take control of your happiness by responding to them in a manner that you are still happy so make sure that you do not postpone your happiness for tomorrow be happy now like this very moment when you start to be happy things would good things will come to you because i mentioned happiness is energy it's a positive energy yeah. thank you so much miss suchi and i think you made a very good point about not postponing our happiness and taking control and taking action to ensure that you know that we can be happy as well during this moment so once again thank you so much miss suchi for joining us this evening so thank you so much for your time and thank you to everyone present here for joining us this evening okay we will continue to put up more exciting events and publicize them on our srs facebook page actually we do have some upcoming events so ryan would you please share the slides It's nice. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you again Miss Suchi for for being here. I really really You're appreciate welcome. it. Uh, so maybe give give Ryan a bit of time so that he can put up the sure. slides. Sure. Okay. So I would just like to share with everybody that actually Silver Ribbon Singapore is also currently providing complimentary online emotional support during this period of time and on screen you can actually see three different contact numbers that you can call us during office hours from Monday to Friday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to fix an appointment okay so we can actually conduct a counseling through Zoom chat or phone calls or we can arrange any other ways if let's say we can try to accommodate if possible as well so yep so this you can actually take a photo of it of course you can also find these numbers on our website on www.silverribbonsingapore.com okay i would also like to share a bit more about upcoming events okay next slide please yep so we are actually are organizing a community mental health online training course for mental health advocates to promote to teach people more about you know what mental health is to debunk the common myths and misconceptions about mental health issues so this is actually a course that will be held will be held soon so the sign up is still ongoing so feel free to go and sign up 
over there on our website as well. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so the next event that is upcoming is actually going to be held on the 28th of May, which is next Thursday. Where we have invited Ms. Gayathri to share with us you know, her views on, on mental health and what kind of efforts that can be done in this current situation as well. Okay, so next, please. Yep, and of course, to you know, for, for the final countdown to the end of Circuit Breaker, which so many people are actually looking forward to. So this will actually be held on the 29th of May, okay, evening, and we actually invited some performance, performers to join us to have some performance to kind of relax and celebrate the end of Circuit Breaker. But of course, keep in mind that although it's the end of Circuit Breaker, we still have to be vigilant moving forward. Yeah, but I really do hope to see each and every one of you at our countdown event. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so of course, if you would like to donate to Silver Ribbon Singapore to support our cause to promote positivity towards mental health, you can always you know, donate via the QR code seen on screen right now, or you can also visit our website at silver, www.silverribbonsingapore.com. You can also drop us an email as well with your personal particulars if you would like a tax deductible receipt. Okay. So next slide, please. Okay, so before we end, I would like to invite everyone to take some time to give us feedback on how this event was like for you and, you know, what are some of the areas we can improve on because, you know, we are still exploring the platform, online platforms to hold events so that it can be more accessible for everyone and we will really love feedback that can help us improve on this. So you can access the feedback form via this QR code on screen or Ryan has also posted the link to the form in the in the group chat okay so once again thank you all so much for taking our time to join us to this evening and i really really very happy to see each and every one of us uh, you know enjoy this event i can see a lot of smiling faces which really really brighten up my day so once again thank you all so much for joining us this evening and i really do hope to see you at our future event so please take good care and stay safe if you have any questions or have any things that you want to ask us feel free to drop us an email so thank you very much everyone and yeah, have a good evening. Thank you. And thank you again, Ms. Suchi, for joining us today. Hi, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Rai. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.